What's good with y'all, man? Coach Payne back with another video. Three things that I wish I knew before I got jacked. So, number one, we hop straight into the video is the respect that you get. You know what I mean? Respect is at an all-time high once you get jacked and once you reach this level. You know what I mean? Um, it, It's different, bro. People will look at you differently. You feel what I mean? And you're almost looked at like, like, like you're superior. It, it sounds bad, but you're almost looked at like that because... Nine times out of ten, nobody's out here walking around as you know Jack. And I'm six foot four. I'm two hundred forty pounds. You feel me? Nobody's out here looking like that. So that that's a plus. You get plenty of opportunities. You know what I mean? Um, people, hey, you want to do this for me? You want to do this for me? Uh, I got a job here. I got a job here, bro. It's just the look about it. You look like you take care of yourself, and you look like, you know, um, that you can handle those tasks that they are they want to give you those opportunities bro so yeah that's the first thing bro and, and i think that's the, one of the coolest things about you know building a physique on you you know like i said bro you don't have to be the biggest out here you know what i mean you definitely don't have to be that you could be you know chiseled that that's just not my look right now currently i'm not chiseled i'm more so bulked up and i really care about the strength part of it right now um i will cut down so so that I can be a little bit more chiseled. And that's really a plus right there. Like, if you're chiseled, bro, bro, your jawline is like popping. Oh, man. You know what I mean? Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, that that's definitely a plus right there. That's better than being bulked up um, like I am. You feel me? So that's the first thing right there, the respect that you get. Um, number two, um, you're a person that somebody looks up to. This kind of ties into the first point, right? Um, you can't do no wrong. If you fuck up, bro, you're looked at, you're, you're held to, all right, let me put it this way, because it's, it's more simple to put it this way. All right, here's you being not jacked, right? You're right here. When you get jacked, you're up here. You know what I mean? People start looking up to you, bro. They look up to you. You feel me? Um, oh, I wanna, I'm trying to get in the gym. You get you get people ask you, I'm trying to get in the gym now. I'm, oh, you know what I mean? When, when you get in the gym, let me in. You know what I mean? You ha you have all of that, especially from old friends in the past, people that you've known in the past. You haven't seen them a couple years. You come back, you're jacked and shit. You know what I mean? That's that, bro. Um, yeah, bro. You have you have people that look up to you, and when you when you fuck up and you you do something that that's wrong, you know what I mean? People take that seriously. Oh, he did this. You know what I mean? You make a bad move and because you're inspirational now. Once you get jacked, you're inspirational now. You know what I mean? You make a bad move, you fuck up real quick. They're like, damn, maybe I should do that too. You feel what I'm saying? You can't do that, bro. You, you're held to a certain standard now. You know what I mean? If you do that type of thing, you're looked at as like, you're looked at as like, you're almost like, it's it's a very horrible to say, but you, you looked at like Jesus Christ. You feel me? It's just the truth, bro. Um, and yeah, that's number two. Number three is it's a very hard task to upkeep that lifestyle. You know what I mean? That's that's one thing I really wish I knew before I got jacked. Now, not more so, bro, because more so back then because. When I was getting jacked, bro, and when I was actually in the gym for real, for real, like the first couple years, and I was really pushing that weight. Eating when I got home, eating, eating, eating all day, pushing that weight, going home, going to the gym, um, pre-workout. You know what I mean? I still do this, by the way, but it was it, it seemed like a lot back then because it was new. You know what I mean? I didn't really know what I was doing. I was consuming all this information online. You feel me? consuming tons and tons and tons of information about how to get jacked and i was really locked in on it right um but that's very hard bro you know what i mean if you want to look i mean i'm i'm not bragging here at all you know what i mean but i gotta stand up because my legs hurt if you want to look jacked bro and if you want to actually be jacked you have to put on size bro like you need muscle belly like uh, good muscle bellies and you need good size on you you feel what I mean? So that when you shred down, bro, you have to actually bulk up so that when you shred down, you look insane. You know what I mean? Um, it's very hard to upkeep. And I actually have a couple clients right now that that say, oh, you changed my life. But, man, I've been working hard. You know what I mean? They know it's hard work. 
You feel what I mean? They know that this is hard. This isn't for the easy people. Bro, if, if everybody, you know what I'm saying, they say, oh, you know what I mean? If everybody could be jacked, bro, or if everybody really wanted to be jacked, they could. But they know they can because it's too much hard work for them. You know what I mean? And it gets to the point where it gets, like, dude, I've been doing this for about four years now. It gets to the point where it gets like, damn. I'm really tired of this. I got to go eat again. You feel what I mean? And, and you need a mental break. You literally will, will need a mental break. I had to go on a couple mental breaks because, um, not for long anyway, but for about a month or so, because it gets to a point where you're literally doing the same stuff every day. You're eating the same foods every day. You're becoming a robot. You know what I mean? It, it, it's not a good feeling, bro. So you guys need to, to be careful of that. Um, Cause that's, that's, it, it's, if you know, you know, you know what I mean? I recommend you to go on this type of journey. Um, a fitness journey. I recommend that like a lot, all my men go on a fitness journey. You know what I mean? And I recommend you to put, actually put the hard work in because it will teach you a lot in different areas in your life. And this is one of the, the coolest things about working out is that it, it branches off into other areas of your life. But I never expected myself to be a fitness trainer when I started working out. You know what I mean? But I love doing what I do now. I love helping young men. You know what I mean? And I didn't expect that. But I'm glad that I, you know, that I went this route in life. You feel what I mean? Excuse me for all the sniffling, but that's that wraps this video up. Um, it's very it's cold out here now, so it's not warm at all. It looks kind of warm through the through the camera, but it's it's not warm at all. It's a very beautiful day though. You know what I mean? But if you guys enjoyed this video, man. Give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, another video today. I'm going to try to push out another video today. Um, I love helping you guys. So if you guys have any video ideas or anything you want to talk about down in the comments, feel free to leave that down there. And until next time, I'm out.